Here we are, Grand and Rising. Grand Rising! Grand Rising! Beautiful souls in this world, I don't know we are not of this world. Cool baby day, I don't know the thing already. Here we are, grand and rising on this blessed and beautiful Friday. Yes, we made it to Friday, you guys. And I am so blessed just to see the hand of God continue to move in and on my life, continue to move in and on the lives of my family, in and on the lives of people that are connected to me, that are also connected to God. Okay, God is not going to force you to love him. He loves you regardless, but he's not going to force you to love him. He's not going to force you to seek him. He's not going to force you to choose him. Amen. And it's just so beautiful. Y'all, today is day 17. Hey, hey. <laughs> Y'all already know. <clears throat> CB17 vision, you done know, okay? Y'all know my favorite number is 17. You know, I probably, for because I have a lot of new followers and subscribers. God bless you guys. I love you guys so much. I'll probably, like, do a video um, reiterating what 17 is to me, right? Because y'all probably like, Cooley, what is it about 17? Like, what? Right? So I'll probably do that. But today is day 17 of the 21-day prayer and fasting specifically the Daniel fast and y'all oh my goodness oh my goodness I told y'all the other day that I feel like God is going to call some of us to prolong the fast and I truly feel like I'm gonna be one of them people and I'm truly okay with it because how it's been going with my intimate relationship with God y'all I was talking to my sister last night I'm gonna tell her I said Mrs. Sis she said hmm I said, girl, I think this, I believe this is the closest I've ever been to my Abba. And I've been close to God. But I told her, I think this is my closest I've ever been to him. I think this is as much I've ever dove into his word intentionally. And it's just amazing, y'all. It is just truly, truly amazing. And today I want to come, I, I want to come with a word this word that I feel and, and I want us all to, to start implementing and applying it and if you already do that's beautiful do it more do it more right we need to start speaking to our circumstances we gotta remember trials and tribulations gonna come that we cannot run from circumstances of life you know trials and tribulations of life we cannot run from these things Jesus told us in scripture he said for you will go through trials and tribulations, but take heart. Take heart because I already overcame the world. So we have to know, have in our mind, and accept the fact that these things are going to come. But I come to tell you today, beloved, you need to speak to your circumstances. You need to speak to your circumstances. Okay? When Jesus was on the boat, everybody was turning up, everybody was frightened, everybody was carrying on, everybody was all these things. And they're waking up, Lord, 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 don't you see? We about to die. We about to die out here. <laughs> Jesus, get up. And for, he didn't even think. First thing he said was, no, no, no. First thing he did was talk. To, he, he spoke to the circumstance. And that's what I'm trying to get through to you today. Speak to your circumstance, beloved. You have that power. You have that authority. You have that dominion to speak to your circumstance. Call what is not as though it is and speak it into fruition because you can do that. My God, when they woke Jesus up, Jesus spoke to the storm and this is scripture I want to leave with you. What did he say? He said, peace, be still. He told that storm, he told them waters, he told the circumstance what to do. He told the circumstance to be still. And guess what the circumstance had to do? Be still. That same power that resided in Jesus, that is Jesus, lives on the inside of you, beloved. And if we don't know this knowledge, if we don't have and implement and apply this wisdom to our life, 
we we are going to live this earthly life and say, oh, we, we love God, we serve God, and we're going to have no fruit to show for it? Just to say, I love you, Lord. Oh, I love God. That's it. That's it. Like, no, 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 guys, no, that is not what the Abba wants us to literally utilize what he has given us here on earth. We don't need to be waiting till we go to heaven and say, oh, well, I made it to heaven now. Now I can have a good, now my spirit could be well and now I can have a good life or whatever. No, God wants us to have a good life here. You see all the sun that shine upon me? You see all God that keeps upon me right now? Listen and receive his word, beloved. Speak to your circumstances. Speak to your trials. Speak to your tribulations. Speak to your adversity. Speak to your calamity. Speak to them demons. Speak to them spirit, them dark spirits and principalities and spiritual wickedness. Speak to them that's coming, that's trying to, 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 to take you off your path, that's trying to distract you, that's trying to hinder you for what God has for you, that's trying to take you outside of God's will. Speak to those spiritual wickedness and principalities. You have the authority. Guess what? They have to subject to you they have to bow down to you they have to they have to because that same spirit the holy spirit lives on the inside of you they can't face that they can't face that you understand y'all once we have this knowledge and implement it that's called wisdom applying the knowledge is wisdom right knowledge is just information right understanding understanding is comprehension but once you have the information and you actually comprehend the information the bible says in all that get and get understanding get the comprehension of it the fullness thereof because then you can then you can apply then you can implement and that's called wisdom because you choose to you can choose to implement what you know you can choose not to and that's when we need to implement the wisdom Speak to your circumstances today, beloved. Speak to your circumstances on today, beloved. I, when I woke up this rising, I'm going to talk to God. I declared today and then I spoke, I spoke, to, I spoke to all these opposing spirits. And I said, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what's going to happen today. Yeah. Let me tell you how today going to go. This is, we need, the Bible says, come boldly, come boldly. Be as bold as a lion when you go to the throne. Come boldly when you speak to them demons. Come boldly. Don't, oh, I, I rebuke you in the name. They laughing at you. No, no, no. You come boldly. You ignite, flip the power on switch. Okay? And you speak to them with that power that you hold on the inside of you. So, beloved, I pray that this is a word that you can take. I pray that this is a word that, that, that ignited the fire on the inside of you and turned it on and turned it up fueled you to do exactly what god is calling us to do we're not supposed to wait till we get to heaven to feel good to be good to just be at peace no we're supposed to have peace on this earth while we're doing the works even while we're getting opposed and all these things we're supposed to have peace right here speak to your circumstances in the mighty name of jesus and don't let the enemy um don't let the enemy get you to where you're 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 down and now you're you're responding to the enemy the way he wants you to respond and the way he wants you to react right in anger and in, in sadness in depression and pity no we're not that <laughs> hey so i bless you guys on today i love you guys so much i want you to have a beautiful and blessed friday okay and then have a blessed weekend as well guys day 17 let's get it let's get it and let me tell you something what we talked about yesterday supernatural it ain't over i told you yesterday this supernatural thing every single day from here on out i love you guys so much keep your eyes to the hills stay focused keep up in the spirit because god i told you it's a lot happening in the spirit right now keep up okay keep up god loves you and so do i have a blessed day make sure you go to the website www.cb17visions.com go watch coolie baby express's podcast season three episode two is out and i will see you tomorrow i love you guys bless up <laughs>